GDP figures for the March quarter are out today. The first financial report card for the economy in 2023. And fresh data from Stats New Zealand shows food prices are still rising, but at a slightly slower rate than last month. Thanks to our partner Milford Asset Management, we're joined by portfolio manager Mark Riggle this morning. Slightly slower, but still rising. Should we be concerned? Yeah, we, we get a, a whole raft of data this week, and, and, and some of that data is on inflation. So food prices is one of those, rose 0.3% month on month. That sounds quite small, but if you look at the year-on-year -year figure, it dipped from 12.5 to 12.1. So a modest mm. decline in the annual pace of, of, of food prices, but only modest and still rising at a very rapid clip, like you say. And what if we look at card spending as well? So if you look at um, the spending on, on cards, it, it's, uh, it fell 1.7% month on month. Month on month figures are a little bit noisy. If you look year on year, it's rising still, but 3.3%. But think about inflation. Inflation is running at 6.5%. Those food prices are running at more than that. So it looks like people are buying less stuff but paying more for it. So, so maybe those card data show some indication that households are feeling a little bit of stress mm. in their household budgets. And what about if we look at the current accounts? What's happening there? So there's the inflation data, there's the, um, there's the domestic consumption data, uh, and then there's the data telling us, you know, what are we doing with the rest of the world, right? So the current account deficit is how much we're transacting with the rest of the world. Are we buying more stuff than we're selling? Mm. And at the moment, we're in, we're in deficit. So in the fourth quarter, the, the number was revised to 9% of GDP, right, which is a huge current account deficit. So, you know, one of the worst deficits in, you know, in the world. Um, for the first quarter, that number came in at 85 So it's an improving situation. Still uh, bad. But it's still pretty bad on the <laughs> yeah. face of it. So... So why is it improving? It's improving because, you know, post-COVID um, tourism is, is slowly recovering and we're seeing tourism spending picking up. So, so that's effectively us selling, you know, experience to the rest of the world. So, uh, you know, that's why it's improving. So we would expect that to normalise still further. Mm. So we hope it's on an improving trajectory. Um, but at 8.5%, it still, it still shows that we're unsustainably um, you know, uh, you know th th that that is currently, un you know, an, an, an unsustainable picture. We need to get out of this situation. Yeah, that's quick. right. Exactly. If we look at migration, that's been quite strong. So, so this is this is good for that, right? Yeah. So my, migration has been, uh, you know, most recently one of the surprise factors. You know, many people um, were concerned that you know we didn't have enough people in the country to to fulfil mm. all the jobs, and so we needed to import workers, and and that's been happening. So we had migration stats this week: six thousand people net on the month coming into into the country. If you look over the last year, hundred thousand people net. Um, and so that's the 13 month of, of consecutive you know, uh, migrants coming in. So there is a story of migration picking up, population growth around one and a half percent. But it masks, you know, that, that kind of 6,000 masks a kind of you know, a big diversion. So over the year, we had 100,000 people leave, yeah. um, but 172,000 people coming in. Um, and so there is a big mix shift, lots of people leaving, but lots of people coming in. So we, who are those migrants coming in versus the people that are leaving? So that's an important story. And also the pace this month was a little bit lower or you know, half the pace of the, 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 the previous month. So maybe the migration boom isn't quite as big. Mm. If we look at what the RBNZ think, um, they downplay the impact of migration on inflation and growth. So, so maybe they are correct in their assertion. Um, very quickly, GDP figures are out today. What are we expecting? So consensus expectation is for minus 0.1. So, right? so that will be a recession. That would be the second quarter on the trot of, mm. of negative GDP growth. It's going to be very noisy, right? Cyclone Gabrielle, lots of different um, factors impacting there. So I, th I think it's going to be difficult to discern trend from noise in, in this GDP print. Um, RBNZ, again, they think we're going to uh, um, have GDP of plus 0.3, um, but they see it weakening you know, if, for the rest of the year. So I, you know, I think it'll be interesting to see, but I wouldn't going to read too much into today's data because of that noise. Okay. Thank you so much for your time this morning. That's Milford Asset Management Portfolio Manager Mark Riggle. We are, of course, talking business every Tuesday and Thursday. Thanks to our friends at Milford.